Cradle on the way. You like Cradle on the way? You wish you could get it. It's better. Yeah. It's better. <laughs> but Black Rock was like, the choir behind you. What? Like, when the choir like came up behind and the piano started getting louder, and you only get like goosebumps. Yeah. I was totally getting goosebumps. Yeah. And of course, like, you get to keep great. I loved 1876. 1876. Yeah, I like encore. Like I like encore. I like encore. The what? Which one? You like it better than practice when they performed it for you just down kind of song on song. the wind? Yeah. Down song? I like these about tall, so yeah. I was like laughing yeah, at the end. So I was not tall enough. Yeah, and, tall. and then he realized at the end he was tall. Yeah. And then I liked it. Was the one, plan it was the beginning of one. Yeah. But then I liked it was the one yeah, 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 yeah. Like that one, that the one <laughs> teacher. It started out really oh, yeah. funny, then it just went on and on and on. Which one? I don't know. Mrs. Remington? Mrs. Remington? Yeah. One. Mrs. Remington's beard. Yeah, yeah. I love that part. I love that so hard. My face kind of stung. Yeah. 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 Well, Mrs. Remington, I mean, it's kind of a long song, but it, it told like a whole story. Yeah. It was like basically yeah. a short story. I thought it was kind of creepy about the being dressed up as your mom's ghost. <laughs> well, I that's, that was that's the point, because the guy is obviously weird. messed up. I was just like, well, his mother just died. He wants to keep her in his life. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> Kelly knows Derek, so she can. I really like. Derek is like going uh, crazy. Like Dallin song. Oh. You really like Dallin. That was a really cool story. Yeah, that's cool. I, yeah, I really like. What about what about the story where they told you where it came from? That's a cool concept, right? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. See, I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. 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 I wanted to hear the one about the lactose. Intolerant Santa Claus. I know. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> well, have you seen, what was it? It's that, that Santa Claus movie. It's just like, the old <laughs> milk. It's like, oh, lactose intolerant. And the yeah. next year, it's skim milk. <laughs> yeah. So what were you going to say, Clark? Uh, oh, yeah. Like, how they were, like, working with Dal and having him say the stuff a certain way to get a reaction from the crowd. Like, at the one point when he finds out that he's not the drummer. Oh, yeah. It wasn't me. And everyone's like, it was so oh, sick. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, but he built it, right? That was cool how he built it. He's like, and then he's building up and he's building up, and I practiced so hard, and I knew was it was mine, and I went to see it, and it was. And then everyone's like, the whole audience was about to cry. We were all like, I, I, I thought it was pretty funny. But still, we were all so sad. Everything was happy. And we lived happily ever after. <laughs> we wanted him to get the, the part, end. and then he was sad when he didn't get it. Yeah, that's true. And they, and they did a good job of telling them. They're, they're storytellers, if you kind of think, look at it that way. Yeah. So how did you guys enjoy singing in the choir with them? Oh, that was fun. That, that was, was fun. That was awesome. And you picked up the center. Did you write that uh, Snow White song? Jacob yeah. Up. That, 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 did you hear the story behind that one, how they wrote that one? I he said it was for a, a writer's clinic he was at. That's the one where he was talking about where he was in New York on September 11th. Yeah, the day before. He got there. Yeah, he was there the day before, and then he was trying to leave that morning. He told me more of the story on the way back to the airport. It was a pretty crazy story. He told me the rest of the story about how he yeah, couldn't get out of New York. Wait, he wrote that on September 10th? No. 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 Well, yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, I guess he kind of wrote it on September 10th. He probably edited me and made some adjustments, but that was the clinic he was at. On cool, September that's my birthday. Um, but, but the story behind that one was, that they had to take a, he had to write a song about a character trying to get another character to do something. Right? And I'm like, Robert, can you get the, the Wicked Witch oh, trying to get it? Take a mine! Take a mine! I love that, I love part. that part because she, she told me after she performed it, she was like, I kind of forgot that cue. And then I was like, oh, and then say. Like, it worked. Or when she's like, and because I mean, they worked with her a long way. Like, how many of you know Amanda Greer at all? Like the sweetest girl ever, right? She's so nice. She's like the opposite. Yeah, the other. So they, they they were about her to get her to have this. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was like I've met her and talked to her and stuff like that, and she's like yelling. I'm like, wow. Did she? Yeah, really got into that. They really did. And, yeah. and I really liked how they were able to get the like they were they would put little cues like when she would say under glass, right? They put their hands in the because like oh all the princes will come and see you. They're trying to call glorious, but all the princes will come see you under glass, right? And so they were, they did a good job about like telling the story. What? Remember when Snow White at the very end, how she's in that coffin? Because she eats the apple, which makes her fall asleep, asleep in the coffin. And then she's in the coffin. So they put her in that glass coffin, too. Oh, I had to think about it. It was like, yeah. 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 if you know the story. Well, that's the other thing I was talking We were talking about that. Like, I, I loved, uh, and, and I want to know if you, if you guys thought this way or not, but like, did you feel like their music had layers or that it was just kind of everything was right there on the surface? It was sometimes some of them were and some of them. Some of them were about from back and forth. Some it was kind of like an onion. <laughs> <laughs> like those, layers. Well, that's the thing I was talking about. We were talking about Mary Poppins, and I was like, yeah, I watched Mary Poppins twice. The first time I loved it, the second time it was just, uh, they're like, yeah, it's one of those musicals that everything you see is right there on the surface. 
you know, like we try to write stuff that you know, every time you come back, at least you're you getting new things out of it. There was like the song that I felt like the layers when they were singing that song about the angels in the snow. Yeah. The yeah, angels cool. in the snow. Yeah. Like when they were doing that call and response thing, you know, they're saying yeah. different things. It's always hard to catch that next line. So that's what I liked. I liked hearing that, you know, in practice and then. Yeah. As far as I was trying to like, listen to what Mark was saying when Hill, you know, cool, yeah. I'm yeah. going outside. Yeah, that was cool stuff. And Anna Lee, can you see Anna Lee? No, we got to go move the camera so we can see Anna Lee. Because Anna Lee, <laughs> right beforehand, right before the concert, what did you get to do? Or right after the concert, right? Oh, yeah. He kicked me out. You wrote a monologue and I performed it for him, right? Well, and. Uh, Wait, what? Anna Lee, right, right, because Anna Lee's read a few monologues, and so I was like, Anna Lee, you gotta go get one of these monologues, but she couldn't find the one, the monologue, Anna, oh, monologue, monologue that we were talking about, so what'd you do? Wrote a new one. She just wrote a new one right ahead of time. And they couldn't stop talking, but when we got back in the car, like, man, what was that girl doing? I was like, oh, Anna Lee, she's like, that girl's got some talent. The whole time, and Brian, especially the book writer, he was like, the whole time she was reading that monologue, I was like, you go, girl, you, you keep writing, don't stop, you keep writing, and they were just really excited. Don't stop. Don't stop believing, huh?